Well, hey guys, we're in Ezekiel chapter 36. This is the prophet Ezekiel speaking to Israel who are living in Babylonian exile. And they're in exile because they've given way to idolatry and worshiped other gods. And, and this is actually a tool that God is using to draw them back to himself. Often time suffering is what it takes for many of us to consider that, that God loves us and that he is worth loving more than anything else in this world. And so in this particular text, this is chapter 36, verse 26, God is going to speak to Israel about the kind of change that he wants to do in their lives. And he says this, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. So this is an incredible transformation that God wants to do. This is more than a religious game or, 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 or some kind of activity for us on the weekend, just to go to church or read our Bible once in a while or pray once in a while. God actually wants to completely change our hearts. And this is a big deal because uh, I think many of us feel like, well, God kind of wants to make me better at life and make my life a little bit better. And certainly following God can do those things. But more than that, God actually wants to take your dead heart and bring it alive. I love this text talks about our hearts being like a heart of stone. And that's really important because um, we like to say this, well, he's got a good heart or she's got a good heart. But what the scriptures say is that apart from Jesus, our hearts are dead and sinful and self-focused and, and made of stone. And so what we, we don't need is like a little bit better of a heart. We don't need simply a heart surgery, some changes to our heart. What we need is a heart transplant. We need it completely taken out and removed and replaced with what this text calls a heart of flesh. And the imagery there is that all of a sudden we, we begin to think the way that God thinks and see the world the way God sees the world. We get God's heart for our lives and for the people in our lives. And then he goes on to say, and then I'm going to put a spirit in you. And so the only way for us to possibly love what God loves and, and see what God sees is that his spirit would live in his people. And so what a cool promise that, that God is actually going to transform his people, put his spirit in them and give them a heart of flesh. And so this is such a big deal because I think it's easy to buy into a Christianity where it's just about getting a little bit better and doing better for yourself and you know maybe becoming more moral and changing your behavior. But notice this text doesn't talk about your behavior. It doesn't say I'm, I'm going to change what you do. This is literally God saying I want to change who you are at the root of your being. I want to, I want to change your heart out for a heart of flesh. And honestly, this is what it takes. For the things that God is calling you to and calling me to, it's going to take more than a little self-motivation. It's going to take more than uh, me simply reading the Bible once in a while or trying to be more religious. It's going to take a completely different operating system. And, and, and this is hard to understand. In fact, when Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, he's, he's confused. and He's like, well, how can someone be born again? That's crazy. But what's being communicated here, and what Jesus communicates, is that physical birth is what prepares you for life here on this earth. But spiritual rebirth is what prepares us for life in eternity with God. And the biblical or theological term is regeneration. It's rebirth. It's like God wants to completely change who we are from the root of our being and prepare us for his kingdom. And so that's my question for you. Have you been reborn? Have you actually had a completely new heart given to you? And if you haven't, all you have to do is surrender your life, is be ready for God to come in and to take out your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh and be ready because it's going to change everything about your life.